Welcome on in. We're going to talk about attachment styles. Uh, what's your attachment style and why does it matter? <laughs> I've been wanting to actually talk about this for a while. I think over a year now. And even some viewers have asked for me to put out more content on this. Um, it, it's really important. It honestly is, especially in the self-help new age community where we hear a lot about this detachment being preached. Uh, and it's stemming from a lot of Buddhist philosophy, which not entirely bad, you know, but I think that, that you know, th that can get into a dark zone, okay? And uh, I'm very fond of Teal Swan many years ago saying that, you know, that's it's kind of a, uh, a lie, this whole detachment idea that you, you hear in Buddhism circles um, and, and then preached in, in the spiritual community, self-help, new age type community. She said, in reality, we're all attached to something, even if it's the idea of being detached. And I'm like, yeah, spot on, because uh, I think that a lot of people are using this detachment idea to justify avoidant, dismissive attachment style, which is very unhealthy. We're gonna talk about that. It's an insecure attachment style. By the way, this is gonna be a six part series, okay? So if you want to follow it, you got to make sure that you have activated the bell for notifications so that you're notified when I le release another video, okay? But basically in this series, we are going to discuss the four types of attachment styles. The first one is secure, and then the three others are insecure, and those would be the anxious attachment style, avoidant dismissive, and avoidant fearful. So... I want to start off in this series talking about the secure style so that we can kind of get a framework of what normal should be looking like. I think that's really important for many of us who don't really have a concept of what is the goal here? What is the end game? Because I, I wasn't brought up with that framework, right? Um, and, and I think that awareness of all of these different styles is going to help us to develop more secure relationships with others. Bear in mind, though, that as you're watching this series and looking at these different styles, uh, they can be fluid. I think that as you know, you get older and you become more self-aware, do more self-healing work. You know, things can change, right? I mean, there are certain times in my life when I was uh, more of an anxious attachment style, and then I did some self-healing work, and I became more of secure. And then, as of late, I've seen myself backsliding into kind of this avoidant fearful you know so right we're human and it, it's fluid and it can flex and flow especially whoever you're partnered with it's easier to have more of a secure style when you're flying solo but when you bring other people into the mix and maybe they haven't done the self-awareness healing work and they're coming in with some insecurity themselves it kind of might throw off your right so just try to be fluid and not try to put yourself in one particular box as we're going through these different styles you might find things that you relate to or identify with like, oh yeah, I can see myself doing that, you know, but other aspects you don't. And then we get on to the next style and you see aspects of that as well that resonate and don't resonate. So just uh, don't try to fit everything in like one little box and realize that it doesn't have to be fixed uh, depending on where you're at in life and who you're partnered with that can really affect it. These styles, they reflect self-esteem, which we're going to talk about Um in each of the videos, how they affect self-esteem, and they can be linked to overall satisfaction in relationships. They can reveal how we give and receive love in relationships, how we treat others, and uh, how we feel deep down that we deserve to be treated. And these attachment styles impact our ability to work through challenges and difficulties in relationships. They can indicate often how relationships tend to end for us because there's patterns, right? And that pattern of attachment really affects how we build and maintain emotional attachments, intimacy through others, with others. So some of you are maybe wondering, well, where is this coming from? It's attachment theory, okay? It's uh, the idea that having a close emotional attachment in childhood is very important for your emotional development as an adult. There's this idea that your attachment style is usually formed during childhood when those emotional 
bonds are set during the formative years, first seven years of life at least, with your parent or your primary caregiver. And so when we see people having insecure attachment styles, it's often stemming from some kind of unresolved attachment trauma. And it's become a coping mechanism, a way of coping with unresolved attachment trauma. And so hopefully this series is going to help you resolve these issues if you have them, rather than merely just kind of cope with these traumas. Now, with attachment theory, it's this, this concept that really children need to have parents or primary caregiver who is caring, supportive, protective, nurturing. And in order for you to have a strong emotional bond that causes you to grow up where you feel safe, secure, confident, and independent, um, that parent really has to impart those things to you, the caring nature, the supportive, protective nature. But in the absence of that, you will usually form weak emotional bonds with your parent or your primary caregiver. And that creates a lot of fear and insecurity and an overall negative outlook on life. And it makes it to where trusting others becomes quite difficult. It can also kind of give you a pessimistic outlook on life and you don't feel so confident. And then as a result, you end up holding back, you know, in relationships. So again, going back to this idea of detachment that I see a lot in the new age self-help community, the spiritual community that's stemming from Buddhism, Buddhist philosophy, um, I, I kind of hope that this series in some way, uh, helps people to understand this idea that I think, you know, that Till Swan put out there that I think was so right on that we are all attached to something, even if it's the idea of being detached. So really it's not a question of being detached or being attached. It's a question of what are you attaching to and are you forming secure attachments versus insecure ones? I think the goal here is obviously let's do the secure attachments. Let's avoid the insecure attachments. We're going to talk about them in this six part series. And if you watch to the very end of this series, I'm going to share with you how to heal an insecure attachment style and become more secure and attachment. So make sure that you've activated that bell for notifications. And until next time, wishing you all the best. Be blessed.